Mark, that's our first two pre-season games under your belt. What's your, your thoughts on that? A good first initial is improving on last year. So we're sitting there, we're playing for the, the big cup instead of the, uh, the third, fourth place. So the small wins when you take it. But collectively, my pre-season is about getting the cobwebs off and, and getting the boys actual some game time and, and having a look at some people. We've had a whole load of uh, players in over the, the summer window there. And, um, we've started stripping it back down. So probably a wee bit too bare today with a couple of guys on, on holiday and stuff like that. And, and when you're playing again two games back to back, you need that, you need that depth. But um, I thought yesterday we were a wee bit lethargic and stuff like that as well. But look, good to get the win. I think we could probably kill that game off a wee bit earlier and uh, make it a bit more comfortable for ourselves. We've had a, I spoke to the boys uh, after that and just said that good good to go over the line but uh, either way we finished the game wasn't wasn't overly strong but uh, I put my hands up for that a wee bit myself and make six subs at the, the one time kind of killed it uh, and that's not anything in the subs it's just killed the tempo and the, uh, the shape and stuff like that just be Do we kind of goes in pre-season the games or you see in friendlies when you make a lot of subs it does kind of well, look, always, yeah, I, look, it's, it's unrealistic, isn't it? You don't, you're not making six subs uh, at the one point in a game, but uh, it's important to give guys a good opportunity and, and good minutes to, to give us a chance. So, um, look, overall, yes, I was happy enough just the way that it, that it finished, but it's what happens if you don't go kill games and then uh, they, they sneak a goal back to 2 1. I thought they, 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 they finished the game really strong and probably unlucky not to nick another one at uh, the back end there, but. Uh, again, look, they're the things that just go for you sometimes, and then today, uh, lethargic start. Uh, I've said that for the first 10 15 minutes, we've, we've ridden the storm, but they came out all guns blazing, and I think we were probably feeling a wee bit heavy legged for the yesterday. But um, a shame we go 1 0 down so quickly, but to then hold our composure and, and keep ourselves in the game and, and go and take the game to them a wee bit, look, I was, I was happy. To, but we knew Logs have got great quality and I know they're doing the same they're looking at some lads as well um, losing wee Robbie yesterday wasn't it wasn't it great for us either but uh, just talking about their show coming in and stepping in for his, his first start 90 for, for the lads he's, he was outstanding today so uh, and let's show the rest of the lads like we, we gave everything we've, we've went toe to toe there we're a top quality team for uh, the Prem so I've got absolutely no qualms and, and another day maybe we take some of our half chances and it's a wee bit uh, tighter, but overall with the two goals you go off a wee bit, a wee bit slack. But look, the, the corners are good delivery and a nice flick movement. Uh, and the first goal was just they've just hit us pretty early, you know that way. Uh, and it's a nice strike. So look, we take it. Um, we've went, as I said, we've matched a, a top team overall. I'm, I'm really happy with the with the run out now, and uh, it takes us into both Glasgow and Wednesday. But collectively for for pre season, it's been. It's been Jobs, they know how we want to play, they know the, the system, the shape, and stuff like that. So, um, it's good, it's just trying new lads in the, in the position and they see who's um, who's going to make the cut and who's not. So, um, I overall, uh, overall in the weekend and overall in pre season, we've, we've got some good strength coming in, um, and I'm we're just eager to get the, get the season started now. I know we're, we're talking first pre season game, we're already wanting the season going, but uh, we're getting to that stage, so we'll probably get. Get four left. We've got um, Port during the week, then we go to Thorn, so again local. Um, then a midweek up Ashfield, so a wee, a wee derby game. Uh, and it'll be good to, to test ourselves again against another quality team. Um, and then we, we finish off with Eglinton uh, at their bit as well, who have been um, a good team. We've got a lad on loan as well, so uh, get, get what you need out of it. And uh, for me, it's all about getting lads' minutes in their legs. Of course, I'm not going to sit here and say it's not about winning because every game's about winning. So, would I have loved to win the day? Yes, of course, I would have. But to go and hold our own, and um, I don't mean get embarrassed, but not go and take a doing, uh, knowing how tired the lads were and how we were a wee bit bare bones, was, was pleasing to see that the, the dig uh, the lads have got. But we've never really got that doubt against Scoop. So, delighted, happy. 
happy with the progress that's going in. Uh, we've got, as I said, a couple of new lads, new faces will be uh, announced uh, in the next couple of weeks, and we've got a new staff member in as well, Ross. Just a word on Ross Jackson. I know it's it was good to see him starting both games. I think that's a a good advert for the the pathway from the twenties for those that. Yeah, well, he that finished want to step the season up. really well uh, last year, and left back was a bit of an issue for us uh, last year. So and he would have probably been in a wee bit sooner if he wasn't hampered with a, a couple of injuries that he got through at, at different points just at the wrong time. Um, and obviously, Dinky filled in there uh, for us last year, but. I I thought uh, I thought he was all right yesterday, and the thirty five minutes that he played today, I thought I, I genuinely thought he was he was outstanding. Mm -hmm. He was uh, we were just saying that to him. He was he was on fire. He was winning his his individual battles, and he was impacting the game going forward as well. So, um, now nah, look, it was a wee bit of a loss uh, to get him, and obviously the circumstances that he's he's went down as well. But we're hoping he's still all right. But we've heard, and obviously he's he's away at the hospital just to get checked. But He's uh, a good lad, definitely one for the one for the future. And he was like leading the team at the day as well, so uh, just to get him prepped because he's the new twenties captain. So just with our captain and vice captain missing, uh, gave him the wee the wee opportunity. So um, I, I think just a mix between him playing yesterday and then he had a, a night shift as well, where he's he's not had a lot of sleep to then come back in, and it's it's quite hot uh, hot today. So maybe just like mm -hmm. a wee bit of hydration and, and he's felt that um, not sure if he's taken a, a wee head knock at some point but um, I wasn't wasn't fully worth it but um, I believe when he was getting taken away uh, to the hospital he was, was alright like he was working back on the park and stuff <laughs> like that as well so, yeah it shows his dedication uh, really isn't no, it, it does. Just... Like, uh, in fairness to him the, the, the small time that I've known him he's uh, he's desperate for his opportunity here and he, he, he lives and breathes it and again he's been it every session um, pre-season as well working there uh, in Grafton to try and get that get that spot so look, fair play to him uh, like you say look, if, you're, if you're good enough you're, you're old enough it's, it's that simple uh, and it must be a captain thing because obviously we took the captain for last year and then now we've got, we've got the new yeah. captain up so uh, that, uh, that armband's a wee bit lucky uh, but I know look again like excited to see with the um, what the twenties have got uh, coming in as well with a bit of a new team, so Davies recruited well there. Uh, I believe I'm looking forward to seeing them in action when they when they start their, their games. Um, but just again, speak to Ross and the side. He's he's quite optimistic about the new talent that's coming in. So I guess look, these things take time, um, and, and recruitment's really important. And um, the same like we we proved last year with the minor uh, and the likes of Rita and Aiden. Um, in Roscoe getting in and getting their, getting in their first appearances, a couple of them getting their um, first senior goals and stuff like that as well. So look, it's it's there. Uh, if the lads want to go and take the opportunity, then um, then it's there for them. It's just as I've always said and what I say to my guys is, it's an opportunity. It's up to them to go and take it. It's mm. not uh, it's it's not just giving it for free. So um, they need to show the hard work and the determination for it, which so far. Definitely has so excited to see what he's got. I would definitely wish, wish him the wishes. I think just uh, moving on to Port Glasgow on Wednesday, and like you say, there'll be a, a few announcements. I think we'll get a few out this week, um, maybe a few more in to come as well. Yeah, look, uh, I know like, uh, the Port will be a hard game as well. Uh, they've been pretty quite well this summer. Steve Eddy was at that there, there's, there's two guys in the house, uh, and looking at their socials, they've picked up some experience um, so that will not be an easy game either but we're hoping but again it's about getting down there and getting yourself tested against these, these kind of teams on a nice Astro Park so uh, we should be able to go in and implement our, our style of play which is which is important for me and again have a look at um, our other lads who are, are coming back through holiday and stuff like that as well so uh, we get to see them in a, in a proper night. But no, I'm, I'm happy, as I said, I'm happy where we are, um, we 
about the squad and where we are going forward and look it's just a bit we knew last year was a building year again maybe the back end of the, the season it's just a, a top of building on top of that um, but I, I, I don't I don't want to give the ghost away and talk about any boys specifically but uh, the recruitment's been been pretty steady but as always we've lost out in a couple uh, a more uh, senior teams but that's, that's just what happens uh, in this game but absolutely delighted with what we've got now it's not as competitive for the starting 11 and the, the squad depth that we've got is, is pretty decent as well I could have done with uh, the day to be fair but um, naming myself on the bench and, uh, and Andy but look, that's, that's what it is that was just more as a, 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 a precaution they're probably better playing me with 10 men than me anyway but um, uh, we just knew with the heat and look, there's a lot to do 90 back to back for, for some lads so um, just to be safe but no I look as I said excited looking forward to it just kind of what I, Get on with it now, don't we? Yeah. Cool, cheers. Appreciate cheers. that. Speak to you. Thanks, mate. Bye.